Hey, hey, welcome back. Let's take a look at decimals today. Let's look at some oldies first there. Okay, what number is 3 fourths of 96? Now at this point, you should have the method down where you're just doing this like almost just like, like a zombie remotely, uh, remotely, just uh, whatever. So what number is 3 fourths of 96? And make sure you have this down. What number, X or whatever letter you want, is equals 3 fourths, 3 fourths of multiply 96. Boom, boom. Okay. So you can you know, reduce this. You can just multiply across, then divide, whatever, and you will get X is equal to 72. Make sure you can, the setup, that's the thing. Make sure you can set this up to where it looks exactly like this. You can just go left to right. Okay. Here's another one. In fact, you know what? Pause it and go ahead and do this one. Figure, figure this one out. Okay. Three eighths of what number is five and an eighth? Okay, three eighths of what number times a number is five and one eighth? I'm gonna put 41 eighths, okay? All you need to do now is multiply by the reciprocal. That's eight over three times eight over three. Yoop, done. And then the eights cancel, and then you got uh, 41 over three. There you go, follow this to it, okay. We're going to slightly modify this today, but basically it's the same principle, same old thing. So you're going to do the, mostly the same kind of a you know method. Okay. Well, let's do decimal parts. What decimal part of 240 is 90? Ooh. Okay. Who cares? We've already got a method down. We're going to use the same method. I don't care if it's fractions or decimals. I mean, fractions are decimals. It's the same thing, right? You can turn a fraction into a decimal and decimal into a fraction, right? Okay. So. What decimal, blah, just the X, of 240 times 240 is 90 equals 90. I don't like how that looks. So I'm going to put 240X is 90. Okay. So all you need to do now to solve for X is divide by 240. Divide by 240. Nope. Done. Chop the zeros off. 9 over 24. You can break that down. That's going to be 3 over 8. Now, they're asking for a decimal part. Fine. I mean, don't leave it as a fraction, okay? Just do a decimal. So we can go 8 into 3. That's going to be 3 there. That'll be 6 left over. 8 into 60 is 7. That'll be 4 left over. And then there's 5. And then there you go. Probably should memorize 3 eighths is 0.375 anyway. So that's it. Same method. Let's try another one. Four tenths of what number is 72? Go ahead and pause it and just, you know, just do the method. Go ahead. All right. Four tenths. Four tenths. I don't like four tenths. I'm going to do two fifths. It's the same thing. Of what number times what number is 72 equals 72. There you go. Multiply by... Uh, Five halves on both sides. I'll put it over one. Yep, there we go. And then let's see here. I mean, you could do 70, you can go across or just you can, you can chop down. I'll just go across like this, 360 divided by two, that's 180. There you go, that's all there is to it. It's a method, use the method, okay? Four tenths of 72 is what number? Wait, it's the same one? No, it isn't, this is a little different. That's four tenths of what number is 72. This is four tenths of 72 is what number? Okay, well, let's do it. Four tenths of 72. Four tenths, forget that. I'm doing two fifths. I'm reducing. Of 72 times 72 over 1 is equals what number? A. I'm going to rebel today. All right, A is equal to 2 times 72 is 144. That's over 5. If they want you to, you can, make, you can do the division if you want. Long division, you'll get 28.8. There you go. Followers to it. Okay. Try the practice problems on page 167. Go ahead and pause it and try A. Okay. Seven tenths of what number is 0.14? Well, let's do it. Seven tenths, seven tenths of multiply what number? N it is equals 0 0.4. 0 0.4. There you go. Followers to it. Now you might look at this and go, wait a minute. How do I do? Oh no, it's a seven tenths, or I, you know, I don't know. What seven tenths is a decimal? 0.7, right? Just write it 0.7. 0.7n equals 
And we know to get rid of that, we're going to divide by 0 0.7. Divide by 0 0.7. Bloop. N is equal to 0.14 divided by 0.7. Let's do it. 0.7 into 0.14. And move this over one time. <coughs> move this over one time. And that gives us 7 into 1.4. And 7 into 14 is 2. That's it. That's all. 0.2. And is equal to 0.2. There you go. Followers do it. All right. Pause it and drive B. Okay. Piece of cake. 7 hundredths of 86 is what number? You know, 7 hundredths. Or if you want to do decimals, why don't we just do that? 7 hundredths, 0.07 of 86 times 86 is equals what number? X. There you go. That's it. I mean, you can do, you know, 107 times, 80, times 86. There we go. Piece of K. So 0 0.07 times 86 is 6.02 if you do the arithmetic. And that's X. That's all there is to it. Okay. Pause it and try C. Now this might be a little weird. But just do the exact method. Don't try to don't try to change things or get cute. Just do exactly what you see on the screen. Go left to right, just like you're reading using phonics or something. What decimal point? I don't okay. Well, all this can just what something just x of seventy two means times seventy two is equals thirty point two four. That's what it is. Now, I don't like the way that is, so I'm just going to go seventy two x equals thirty point two. Four. There you go. So all we need to do is just go, okay, divide by 72, divide by 72. And if you do the arithmetic and divide by 72, you're going to find that the answer is 0.42. There you go. That's it. Once you have that method, use that method. Man, I'm telling you something. That, th this method here will take you all through all kinds of stuff. Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Advanced Math, I mean, uh, Trigonometry, Calculus, all kinds of stuff. You get this stuff down really well. Then when you're doing higher math, like Algebra 1 and 2, Calculus 3, you won't be messing with this stuff. You'll be, you, all this will be done for you. You'll have it already in your head how to do it. Now, you'll be looking at, oh, all these different you know, uh, cosine and sine tangents and derivatives and all this kind of stuff. You, now you can mess with that and not mess with this anymore. So, okay. All right. Good luck today. Have a great day. See you next time.